This Rail Safety Week, we have been considering the safety of our clients, our colleagues and our communities. But now I'd like to turn our attention to looking at looking after ourselves and how that relates to our safety. Now, I don't know about you, but over COVID, my car MOT ran out and for a few months at least, it was okay just to uh, get by without it. But um, I knew that I had to go and get that car checked out eventually, so, so I did. And in the same way, the videos that are coming up next show us the importance of taking that one hour out of our very busy schedules and really prioritising getting our health checked out. So listen to these stories and I'd like you then to think about what warning lights have you got on your dashboard? Do you need to go and see a health professional and get yourself checked out? Hi, I'm Clive Humphrey, product manager at Vargo. Usually I'd now be talking to you about our DIN rail terminals and connectors, but I don't want to talk about that at this moment. I want to talk about myself. In February this year, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. It was a real shock. I have absolutely no symptoms at all. It came out of a simple blood test at a men's health um, clinic. I'm currently waiting for an operation. Um, it's going to be life changing, but the, the consequences of not having the surgery or any other treatment could be a lot worse. If you get the chance, if you're a, a man over 50 or you know somebody that is, if you do get the chance to have a check, then please do. It really could make a difference to your life. I'm Heidi Lee, Marketing and Communications Manager for DBESG. We're an engineering rolling stock consultancy located in Derby. In November 2020, I had a tennis ball size grade 2 meningioma brain tumour removed in an ear-to-ear -ear craniotomy. I am very lucky to still be alive, thanks to a GP who recognised my symptoms as something that could indicate a brain tumour, which is really rare, but still she pushed to get me a brain scan and a diagnosis, which was difficult because we were in the middle of the COVID pandemic. My symptoms were headaches, nausea and vomiting, especially in the morning, a lot of pressure behind my right eye um, and towards the end before, my, before I had my craniotomy I also had um, right-sided tinnitus. My tumour was in my right frontal lobe. Normally those symptoms would indicate migraine, stress and anxiety, um, maybe a sinus infection or perhaps the menopause. So as I said, I'm very lucky to be here. And my advice to everybody is, you know your own body. If there is something that you don't think is right, please seek help. It really could save your life. Hi, I'm Tim, um, and I've been asked to tell you my cancer story and a couple of thoughts on getting checked out. So quickly, August last year, I got diagnosed with bowel cancer. Um, and I was speaking to the, uh, I was perfectly healthy, by the way, uh, working full time, full of energy, full of uh, uh, normal stuff, and only symptom was blood in poo, which I'd been going on for six or seven months. And then when you sat in front of the consultant and he diagnoses you, well, he asks for the symptoms, and you say, I've had blood in poo, and they say, for how long? Seven months, and does it run in the family? Yeah, my mum died of it um, two years before. You feel a bit stupid that you didn't get checked out sooner, as soon as anything changed. So my advice to anybody, the sooner you get it checked out, any issues, any changes in your body uh, that you can feel, get it checked out, because it's certainly less painful, you've got more chance of success. Um, uh, and the treatments are going to be less drastic the earlier you uh, find these things. So please get checked out every opportunity you possibly can, especially if there are changes in your habits in your body. Hi, I'm Donna Hoffman, Managing Director of Inside Out Group and also Rail Forum Board Member. I just wanted to finish this video by saying a huge thank you for the people who have spoken on this, for being brave and courageous sharing their story. I learned a quote last week um, which basically said, if you have your health, you wish for lots of things. If you don't have your health, 
that is all you wish for. The health and safety of all of us is so important and looking after ourselves is so important. So please, as the people have said in these messages, if you have any signs or symptoms of something not quite right, please do seek help, please share and yeah, please look after yourself and thank you everybody for watching.